After conquering the peaks of Pico Ruivo, we trade our hiking boots for swimsuits for a completely different kind of adventure. Today is the day I swim with dolphins. Madeira's crystal clear waters and abundant marine life make it a haven for our dolphins and a chance to encounter them in their natural habitat. On the last episode, we embarked on a challenging adventure hiking to the highest peak in Madeira, Pico Ruivo. We battled steep inclines, tested our limits, and pushed ourselves to new heights. And to reward ourselves, we indulged in a feast, two main courses each. Good morning! This is the day I've long awaited for. Today was the day I swim with the dolphins. We started off with a briefing at the center, marine life, safety protocols, and respecting the marine life as we pay them a visit. That's amazing. It depends. If they don't come out to breathe, it's impossible for us to see. Okay. The salt in the air filled my senses as we boarded our vessel in the bustling Madeira oh. Harbor. Good morning. Swimming with dolphins has been on my bucket list for the longest time. As our boat cuts through the crystal waters, the anticipation was almost unbearable. Then they were just there, just a few feet away, these magnificent creatures. A pot of spotted dolphins emerged from the depths and cruised playfully next to us. My heart pounded from excitement as I pulled on my snorkel gear. The first plunge into the crystal clear waters was like stepping into another world. The sunlight filtered through the surface, creating a mesmerizing play of light and shadow. Just look at their sleek bodies cutting through the water with effortless ease. Their playful acrobatics were mesmerizing. They seemed to dance and twirl, their clicks and whistles creating some sort of song in the sea. It was as if time stood still. To the gentle tug of the boat, I felt an overwhelming sense of happiness to see them so free in the water. They were so close that I could see them trying to figure out what creature I am and the intelligence in their eyes. It felt like I was floating in a dream.
As we were preparing to leave, there in the distance were several dark shapes breaking the water's surface. At first I thought they were dolphins, but our guide's eyes widened as she confirmed our suspicions. We were witnessing the elusive Blaineville's beaked whales. These shy creatures are rarely seen and to catch even a glimpse of them was an incredible stroke of luck. These whales are incredibly mysterious creatures, known for their deep dives. With their long slender bodies, they can dive to depths of over 3,000 feet. That's around 900 meters, by the way, and stay submerged for about 54 minutes. They surfaced briefly before disappearing into the depths, leaving us in awe of the ocean's mysterious inhabitants. After a magical morning swimming alongside dolphins, our stomachs started to rumble. We then took a trip to the charming village that captivated Winston Churchill of Camara de Lobos. Renowned for its fresh seafood and traditional Madeiran cuisine, and where Winston Churchill painted various images of the village. Checking in, please. After taking a dip at the hotel's pool, we were ready to absorb more of Madeira's culinary delights again. Our next stop was a restaurant oh, called 90 that. Degrees. Nice. Hello! The moment we stepped inside, we were greeted by a stunning view of the ocean. The restaurant was literally perched on a cliff overlooking the water. This is 
de linguini, the fruto de mar linguini, and that's the mussels and the octopus. And this place is super stunning. You can sometimes see whales from here too. It's so cute. I'm gonna kidnap you. for a quick walk on a glass floored platform. The view was absolutely stunning. Rugged cliffs plunging into the turquoise waters below, charming villages and the endless horizon stretching out before us. It felt like I was walking on air and with the world stretching out beneath my feet. We are currently at this place called the Skywalk and it is the highest skywalk in the world. Oh, we just made it! It's actually a really short little platform. It's not really like a long bridge or anything, so it takes, I don't know, five minutes maybe. But we came here at 7.45 and it closes at 8, so there really was like maximum 10 people there. So we got our photos in and it was very, very nice. to set, we made our way back to the hotel. The rooftop bar with its promise of panoramic views was the perfect place to unwind and reflect on the day's adventures. And so, darkness closed the chapter of our day. We shared stories of our encounters with dolphins, the thrill of the skywalk, and the charm of Camara de Lobos. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe because on our next episode, we'll be watching clouds dance at Bica da Cana, explore the historic charm of Sao Vicente, discover the virtual haven of the Chapel of Our Lady of Fatima, and experience the raw beauty of Seychelles. Stay tuned for more adventures in Madeira. Thanks for hanging with me. Bye!